So here we are again. It is Monday afternoon. <clears throat> a Monday afternoon. Not necessarily the one you're at the moment. Ooh, I need a, I think I need a haircut. A bit long. Okay, so <clears throat> this video is my first attempt at doing a couple of things. Um, one is a what you might call a composite video. So I'm going to take various feeds from sources and bung them together. I mean, you're not interested in any of this, but I am. Uh, uh, so the first bit's going to be a bit of an unboxing. Um, I have here a box <clears throat> which does not have a Boston toilet roll holder in it. This has just come from eBay. Um, I've ordered loads and loads and loads of stuff off eBay and I have no idea what this is. I think I know, but um, it's going to be one of about three things that are due to turn up in time. So I thought it'd be interesting to just do an unboxing um, because, uh, sorry to all the cats, um, because they're done, they're a thing, are they? I don't know. People seem to like them. I think it's quite fun. So I'm going to record me now unboxing this hopefully not toilet roll holder. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There. So it does seem to be full of toilet rolls. Which isn't really. Oh, so we have a mini. <clears throat> ha! Yes! Excellent. This is what I hope they were. Get the light over here. So. These are you going to focus? Our Chaos Marines! So, you can't really see that. This is a crappy phone. Oh, it's not a crappy phone, it's a Huawei P30, Howie P30 Pro. It's a good phone. Um, but I'm going to start using my Sony, which is over there, out of shot for other stuff. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, I've no idea how to paint these. Um, I'm reading um, Night Lords at the moment, which is a fantastic book um, about the uh, Night Lords. Uh, Curse Marines. Um, I love the, the colour scheme of the Thousand Suns. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. So there's a standard guy with a funny horny thing and a bolter. It's a bit more like, is it? Whoa, whoa, that's way too bright. Turn it down. Uh, is that better? Yeah. Um, oh, this is cool. So like this guy's, um, looks like he's got a plasma gun and sort of like some sort of weird, uh, yeah, sort of, uh, Hair thing. The hair thing. Well, it's a technical term. I'm quite pleased as well as a, just another one um, with a generic backpack and a bolt gun. I'm quite pleased as well because, um, as I said in my last video, I've got uh, I've, I've got loads of Marines recently. I had this real compulsion to buy Space Marines and Trace Marines and some Imperial Guard as well. And I... The last lot I got, I do not know what the, the guy undercoated it with. Tar. I think it was tar. Um, in the end, I could not get most of the undercoat off, but I got it down to a thing where it was very thin and it wasn't tacky. So I reckon actually it would be enough to key the paint. And um, and I reckon I can paint over it without losing too much detail. So this is one six. Uh, so a guy with... Okay, so that's a bit weird. So he's got a... Uh, a, a dagger stuck to his leg and he's got a sword and he's got a bolt pistol he's got all the knives again a rather splendid set of horns I mean he's got some nice chamber I'm really sorry about the quality of this as I said this is as much for me um, practicing I don't know as I said where this channel's going if it will do anything but this is more about me practicing as well so anyone that is actually bothering to watch this I do apologize for the quality but I hope you'll stay with me and your master master webcam there's a seat there for you um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that off. I'm quite, a, I'm quite into modding and kit bashing anyway, so um, I might do some of the videos on it later. But I'll take that knife off because that's really silly. I don't know why you would need that. This guy has got... the hell is that? I don't know what that is. What is that? Can anyone... is that focusing? Can anyone tell me what that is? It's like... It's got an arm with a knife coming out of the arm, maybe? Is that a chaos thing? So that's five. I think I ordered nine of these. <clears throat> and I was going to paint them up for Blackstone Fortress, but then I thought, good god, no. Oh, it's a goat-headed guy. Goat-headed guy with a... Oh, this is really cool, actually. So you can't really see, but uh, he's a goat-headed guy, and he's got, like, a flail arm thing, mace arm, and a pistol. No, it's a car bolt carbine, maybe? Don't know. And, uh... That he's got goat horns. I mean, yeah. Nothing says chaos like a big set of horns. This guy's pretty generic. 
and I'm down to the last two. I'm really pleased with these. I'm really, really pleased with these. They've, they've got a nice. They've they've been stripped a bit. You can see where someone has painted them, so they've had a little bit of stripping on them. But they're down to they're down to a reasonably good prime. Um, they're in okay poses. I will. The bases are too small, aren't they? Base is too small. I don't know. Anyway, sorry about that. I, don't, I won't be gaming with them anyway. Um, oh, I've just seen this guy. Um, yeah, so th there's lots of things. I'm going to repose them. I might make. Um, I'm really. I keep banging on. I'm going to show you something in another video, which will be not another video, but it'll be a second part of this video if I can work out how to do that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I want to do some dioramas. This guy has got a power fist, power claw thing, and also two heads. So uh, where's the focus on that? And I, that's pretty gross, but really cool. Really, really cool. And then another generic, another generic, yeah, twin horny guy. So that's really good. Ooh, uh, that tissue paper's probably absolutely covered in germs. Germs! So, right, um, what I'm going to do now is throw that over there. Uh, my computer is booting back up. It seems to have had a damaged disk, but it seems to be fixing it all right. It's not the, not the root disk anyway, it's just an external. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stop this now and then I'm going to practice recording some other stuff and I'm going to try and put it all together. Uh, I may well edit this bit out because it's rubbish, but see you soon. Oh, come on. How long is this taking? It's just a damn secondary drive. Ah! Hello again. So I spoke too soon. Um these actually are some of these are actually really heavily and badly primed um so i'm gonna have to strip them in detail yay that's fun um if anyone's getting any better ideas in detail i know isopropyl alcohol is supposed to be good but yeah so th some of these boys are gonna have to be um it's a two-headed guy some of these boys are gonna have to be um i've got if uh, uh, stripped um, i've got no idea if that's in focus i'll be checking after the shoot the shoot get me oh Anyway, so Space Marine, Chaos Space Marine. So a couple of things I wanted to um, to look at just before we quit is so uh, my wife's into this as well, and I've I've, I've got some um, of a friend Paul. He gave me this uh, Sidonian Dragoon. Um, the Dragoon's on a shelf up there. Um, anyway, um, yeah. So uh, he primed it on the sprue, which made it a bit tricky to put together because obviously I had to gouge out and, and, and clear up all the elements where I needed a bond, but ultra generous. I mean, it's a 30 odd quid model and it's fantastically detailed. I will paint this up and I'll have a video myself painting it or show the results. I'm not sure about the whole video painting thing yet. I think that could be tricky. Plus there's so many guys and girls out there that are better than me at doing this. Look at those hands, by the way. Look at those hands. They are just gorgeous hands made for video. Saw them here first. Right. Anyway, I keep saying that uh, I want to do um, wanted to get uh, into more dioramas. So we were out at Hobbycraft on uh, Saturday. Hobbycraft's a UK hobby store. I think a bit like Michaels in the states or whatever. And they had these um, bases. It's like two pound fifty. They're for um, they're actually for uh, number plates. Oh, not number plates. House house numbers. You can put your house number on there and some pictures of birds being mauled to death by badgers. I don't know. Um, anyway, so had an idea. Mod podged it with um, Black Magic Craft Mod Podge mix, which is black mag uh, which is Mod Podge and black paint and a bit of ink, um, and then. Ba uh, coated it with um, DAS air drying clay and then went over it with a green stuff roller and now I have a rather fetching um, rock hard flagstone effect so what I'm going to be doing is um, is something you know like I'm going to have the guy sort of like that and then I'm going to have like some um, imperial gothic ruins around it um, and then a lot of this, a lot of this flagstone is going to be covered. It's going to suggest, um, it's going to suggest like there was a weaving a road here, but there's all debris and dirt and stuff come over it. Um, I had some. I always, I don't know if this thing. Always, if you're ever using uh, air dry clay or or green stuff, and you finish your product, product project, 
um, never just throw it away. So basically, I had some green stuff left from um, I was making a I was making a spacer for um, to to space out um, the, the the backpack on a marine I got. Um, I mentioned that in another video, and I used the rest of the green stuff to make. You're never going to see this. Um, basically, this little crater as a like little resistor. Um, no, it's a capacitor actually. Um, that's gonna look like a barrel, and I'm going to put some. Um, I'm going to paint it up, and I'm going to put some uh, 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 model water in there to make it look like that's leached out, and that's going to go on one bit. And then when I finished with this, I had a bit of clay left over. I just made like a little nodule thing with some with some cracks and bullet holes in it, and that'll paint up really well. And said so you can just start if you get most of it, you've got like a spare box of bits that you can then you can model on. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's going to be a project. I have to have loads of projects on the go. I get really bored. Um, I get a bit, you know, if I, I get block points, I, I mental blocks, I don't want something, I don't want to paint it anymore, so it goes on the shelf. One thing I have, and I don't know if this is finished, I think it's finished, and this is a, um, the Abominator Troll from, um, from Zombicide Black Plague. It's one of the item bits, and I've just finished painting him, he's the last of the three. There were two other Abominations as well, which I've painted prior to this, and I'm quite pleased with him. And it was a bit of a learning one, I mean... I spent a fair bit of time um, wet blending and, and layering and feathering and all those good things to get his his muscle tone up. And then he was really blue and I didn't like it. Um, so get in shot, mate. It's all about you. Um, so he was really blue and I didn't like it. So I went over it with null oil and then uh, that pretty much freaked up all the work I'd done. It just dulled down too much, all the highlights I built up. So as you know what, I just resorted to doing three dry brushes, at varying uh, varying pressure and, 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 um, and paint colours, uh, highlight colours, and it looks all right. And this is what I was going on about the other day. I think sometimes we put ourselves under pressure to use these these techniques. Like I'm obsessed, I have to, I have to be getting better. And I am dry brushings for amateurs. Don't want to be dry brushing. I want to be wet blending. And I'll do non-metallic metals. And it's like, you know what? I'm really pleased with this mini. And at the end of the day, if we're pleased with our own work, that's all that matters. Damn. So, um, so yeah, he's, he's got a very simple base. Um, Vallejo uh, European dark mud or something. And I've done a bit of blending on the colours and then inked it. And I'm pretty pleased with him. <sighs> I don't know whether to put some bloody effects on because his skin has technically sloughed off. These are really tricky to work out what you're painting because they're just all bubbles and crap like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with him. And also for the first time I've used um, Ardman uh, gloss thingy. Um, Ardman? Is it Ard Coat? I don't know who Ardman is. On his, um, on his eye. Is that going to autofocus? I very much doubt it, but there you go. He's got a really shiny eye and a really shiny tongue, which I like. Um, so I'm pleased with him. Um, I've got the other two here, actually, within arm's reach. They're on my Instagram. They're on my Instagram, so if anyone wants to look at that. I have them on Instagram, you know. That's fine. So this is the Abominator Troll, and this is the first one I did. Um, and again, he's, uh, he's, he's just basically an Abominator Minotaur, rather. That's the Abominator Troll. This is the Abominator. Um, and he's okay. I mean, I, I sort of tried to create a, 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 a. This is all bubbly and red and raw, and this is his, what he would normally be coloured. Um, and do that. I'm quite pleased with him again. Give him a bit of gloss on his boily bits. And then the final, the final one, which is actually the second one I did, was the Blobinator. Now this is interesting. I don't like this model. I don't like the work I did on it. Um, I don't know. It's. Uh, I just don't like it. Um, it's very simple, it's got just basically green, dry brushed up, edge highlighted um, to sort of yellow and then I did the old um, Uhu with gloopy red bits to give him some gloop. This is a bit of the, the bloody dangly thing, is a bit of um, hot glue and this is hot glue too. And this is the thing, right? I don't rate this, I don't think it's particularly good, I don't think I like my stuff particularly good, I've only just started so that's cool. Um, this has got something like 30 likes on Instagram and this has got like two and I think this is better and it's like there's something wrong with me. I suppose if you look at it the green one pops more, it's got more colour, it's more vivid, this is a bit flat. But it's weird isn't it? The stuff we like sometimes isn't the stuff that other people like but again 
Sir Richard was said that does not matter one hoot. So um, that's me done for the day. Um, I wonder if I can actually turn this. Uh, turn this so I can see my face. Oh yeah. So that's me done for the day. Um, and I'm now going to edit this together. I've just noticed that is so shiny. <laughs> Dear. I do apply, apologise for the light bouncing off my head. Uh, if it's blinded anyone, oh, I, I, I'm sorry about that. So, um, yes, I'm going to sign off now. Um, stitch all these together using the Windows 10 photo thingy, which I'm sure will do a really, really epic job. And this will this will just be amazing. Um, so, I'll, I'll speak to you again soon. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, like and subscribe if you want. I'm sure if you were going to, you were going to. I don't know why people feel the need to say that. Um, like and subscribe, you say. I don't know what those functions are. <clears throat> um, so anyway, have a really great um, afternoon, evening, morning, daytime, nighttime time. And I'll see you around. <laughs>